Today we got some bingo bango bongo type of stuff. We got DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles full trophy slash achievement list. This cheeky little thumbnail change has got everybody jumping and shit. We may have a new possible elemental stuff in Origins Remaster. Maybe that's exactly what a lot of people are assuming. And right off the bat, I want to say that make sure you get your pot on for a second or two. I won't warn you again. Get it on for a second or two. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you got your pot on. So, STG. Mauser, the MG08 LMG, the Reagan Mark II, the original MP40 are back in Origins Remaster. Stop screaming. I know this is something to scream about. I have done so as well, and it's not healthy, let me tell you. So, I, I just thought I'd let you know, and I, I thought I'd let you know to not scream, but hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman, and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel, definitely do consider subscribing. We do daily videos and live streams, and I'm doing a Zombies Chronicles giveaway. If you're interested in it, check the link in the description below, but we are going to start this from the new trophy slash achievement list. Now, do keep in mind I have not read the old Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 trophies list all right as I'm making this video I have not read any I haven't did anything bad I have not committed any sin but some of these makes me think that we already had them back in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 so this comes from a reddit user by the name of Potato Guinness and he actually sourced this from a youtuber so he, he basically goes on to say that so a youtuber by the name of zombie best made a video with origins and moon gameplay and he showed the trophies. Here is a full list of them. The first one goes something like this. It's a trap. In Shinonuma, kill at least one zombie with different traps in a single round. It sounds pretty simple. You gotta kill at least one zombie with different traps, but it does not say with all traps, but it does say with different traps. So I'm not totally sure about that. I'm pretty sure that it's a... Uh, yeah, I say I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be with all the, the traps. You know what I'm saying. The next one is the E Eagle has landers. I'm sure I've read this or I've got this trophy back in Black Ops 1 over on PS3 and it basically is an ascension escape on all three lunar landers. So that is pretty simple and easy to do. Chimp on the Barbie is the next one. Ah, uh, hot damn. In ascension, kill a space monkey with a fire trap. And I believe I have seen this and I've done this trophy back in Black Ops 1 too. There is a fire trap in ascension and basically once you actually kill a space monkey with that shit, you will actually get that trophy. Uh, pretty bingo bango bongo type of stuff here. Time travel will tell. In Shangri-La, acquired the focusing stones. Now, I'm not gonna say this is an easter egg, but if I have to guess, I would say this is the uh, easter egg trophy. I've never done the Shangri-La easter egg before, but I know focusing stone is in it, so I'm assuming that focusing stone, when you acquire that, is basically you finish the easter egg, so that's that. The next one is small consolation. In Shangri-La, use the 3179 JGB E215 on each type of zombie. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I at least know this is the baby uh, wonder weapon. The, we like to call it baby gun here in the zombies community, you know what I'm saying? And it is such a great wonder weapon. And this trophy right here confirms the fact that we're going to get it back. Of course, like we have seen with other remasters so far, we are getting the original pack punch camo and the original wonder weapon. So, of course, we're going to get it. I had no doubt in my mind, but this, uh, this right here confirms that we're going to get my boy baby gun uh, the next one is cryogenic slumber party and it goes like this in moon complete richthofen's grand scheme now i'm not totally sure if this is an easter egg trophy or not again i have not done the moon easter egg the next one is ground control i've heard that somewhere as well probably back in black ops 1 over on the ps3 it goes like this in moon prevent each excavator from breaching the base in one game the next one of course you gotta hear that i'm sure you've heard this little lost girl in order Origins release Samantha aka do the easter egg. The next one is overachiever. In Origins complete all four challenges in one game. Now I'm not totally sure what exactly are those challenges but if I have to take a guess it's probably like the staffs and shit like that. By the way I got you guys the staffs guide on the channel so check them out whenever you guys want to on day one or right now. The next one is I said work close. Now I'm not sure if I've read this or I'm assuming this is a new trophy. It goes like this and knock their untold and do not let any zombie enter the building during the first round so we get about six zombies so it's going to be pretty easy in my opinion maybe uh, the next one is acted alone in Verruckt 
headshot 20 zombies in the courtyard from the second floor of the asylum with a question mark at the end. And the last one is, I've seen some things in Kino Der Toten, visit every location the teleporter can take you to. Ah, that's pretty cheeky. I like that. I like that because I love Kino Der Toten and I played that map like crazy. So I know what that is all about. So that right here is all the trophies list. And he also goes on to say, added all trophies are bronze so i if you're a trophy hunter because there used to be a time when i was crazy over that trophies or hunting trophies and getting trophies i still have over 2k trophies i had them i know how it is but all these trophies are going to be bronze so that's what it is but now i'm gonna move on and talk about the the water staff like the things that are going around the zombies community and right off the bat i will say this it is just a visual glitch like there is no way that track will make a new elemental staff and put it in the remaster version. I'm going to quote Blundell here, although I forgot the quotes. Uh, don't quote me on that one, but he basically said that I will bring the original remaster back, and so far we know that is correct, and so far I'm assuming this was a visual glitch or some kind of, like, bug. Like, there's no way, like, you're gonna be like, oh, water. It's gonna throw water all around. I, I should not be saying that in a video, but hey, hot damn, hot damn. It's not gonna be a water step, like, that's for sure. So, boom, there you go. And last thing I wanna say is this cheeky little thumb thumbnail change that we have seen and if you guys have missed my reaction video I, I was kind of like doing a reaction and I was just like this is a new video so I gotta record it and as soon as I clicked it I was just like I got clickbaited right they actually removed it and they changed it and we have seen something like this before with revelations trailer as well they had this thumbnail and then they changed it and we later found out that this was the apothecan where we actually go to to actually pack punch our guns and this was the starting room shot of revelations so it may be like this or maybe this this is a screenshot of the new gameplay trailer that we're going to see very very soon probably on the release day of Zombies Chronicles and we can see he is presumably in Nagdar Untoten. Looks freaking sick though and uh, I guess that is really about it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Enter in the giveaway, smash a like, subscribe if you're new, check out some other videos on the channel and I'll see you guys very freaking soon.